USA Basketball Women's National Team takes on Van Minnesota and underneath to Boston. How about that to get by Cartman and then you see the height advantage Samuelson over Williams, but then she saw Heideman got a hand on it. Boy, Indiana's lucky. Smith, nice attack of the basket. Aaliyah Bach. <laughs> wow. These are team in steals. Caitlin, nope. Aaliyah Bosslark passed up the long three. Into Boston, give the Samuelson. All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Showtime. Appreciate everybody checking in. Y'all already know what time it is. So let's break down this game, man. 8 1 74. The Indiana Fever, they um, they started off this game kind of shaky, ended up winning the first quarter. Leo Boston got out to a great start like always. This team, this team is a Leo Boston team. Oh, I, I know I understand Kayla Clark is the most talked about. She's the most popular. They sell out arenas. I absolutely agree with that. But she's not the best player on the team. It's clearly Leo Boston. Many games I have watched. I have sat back and watched. Even the games I mix, I go back and watch, and I pay attention how they win, not not the fact they win, how they win. Every time they win, all these games they winning is because of Leo Boston and Kelsey Milton. They got the most the the most top two picks in the whole entire league. They got four top two picks. They got back to back first round picks, and they on the five hundred now. Got to be uh, you got to keep it real. They started out slow because they had to get adjusted to each other. So that's a fair point. They're playing much better basketball right now. But when I'm when I was watching this game, I was watching some clip of some league. I was going back and forth. But when I watching this game, I watched all this game. Make sure I cover every last little bit of it. Um, the the we got Monica Madden calling the game. Poor Monica Madden. I'm gonna say this about Monica Madden. I feel so bad for Monica Madden because she has literally called the game down the line since she been covering this game for a very long, long time. And as soon as she gets her opinion about um, the rookie of the year race, well, she's been literally been going back and forth because I've heard her say Kayla Clark is the um, rookie of the year more than Angel Reese. But that one time she said Angel Reese was the rookie of the year, she getting smoked out. And then now she have to she have to humble herself for the for the um the CC media because they won't let her be an analyst and actually call it down the line. You watch her, that that was very uncomfortable to listen to them call that game, y'all. They had to like brush over a couple, a lot of stuff. Kayla Clark, first of all, she picked up a flag of foul. She um back slapped the girl in the face. Um, what was that? Carlton said she back slapped him in the face. They called a flag. You can hear Malik Miller saying, I think that is a basketball play. She was she was man, she was tiptoeing around what she was saying about Kayla Clark because all the death threats and the hatred her fans be uh, giving her. Uh, her, her, her fans be on, um, you know, the stuff they be saying. They made the death threats, the hatred, uh, even me. And look how I many the videos I made good about Kevin Clark. And, and, and that's that's not good enough just because I like Angel Reese. That just shows you how sad these folks are. You know, and I came in actually cheering for both, cheering for both even though Reese my favorite player. I never said she was trash and all that. I'm not going to make this about me, though. Anyways, like I said, though, um, these folks um got to stumble and they got to make sure they be careful what they saying. Kayla Clark played horrible in the first half. And I'm watching them. Bad turnovers once again. Six turnovers, six assists. You know, the um her, her little double-double run ended. So ain't no more double-double runs for the rookies. Now, she is leading the league in assists, also leading the league in turnovers by far. She, by, she got by far the worst. The, the 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 worst assist turn ratio I ever seen in basketball. Um, so if we're gonna talk about rookies making mistakes, we gotta call out how it is. That's how we've been doing. Five out of seventeen from the field, two out of eleven from the three point line. She didn't play that well. Now in the fourth quarter, yeah, she got a couple points. Everybody looking at the ankle breaker, but McBride was locking her up though. Um, salute to us, uh, Leah Boston. And Leah Boston, I don't think she carried him 17 points, 16 fucking rebounds, and four and four blocks, eight out of 11 from the field. She she got this girl out of jail. 
Oh, sudden, she said a thousand screens with Kaylin Clark. So Kaylin Clark couldn't shake out my bride other than that one little ankle breaker. Congratulations. Since we want to nitpick everything, let's nitpick. So uh, Kelsey Mitchell, uh, uh, once again, the other top two pick, 21 points, four rebounds, three assists, eight out of 18. Uh, yeah, this one happens when you got all the top picks on your team. You should be winning. 11 points for uh, Lisa Smith. But Leah Boston coming in big time, both ends of the flow. Minnesota didn't have the fees of Calder, and but they also showed that they're a very good team, even without them. So we have to be honest. Leah Boston carried it was a carry job. This is one how this one of many games they have won out of them 11 games. Leah Boston is really responsible for um for 10 of them damn games. We've been honest. Other than that Washington game, they that watch the, the first Washington game with Caden Clark had 30, they won because I think they could won because of Caden Clark. But and this is a perfect example right here, y'all. All y'all gotta think about this. She been cooking Washington. Caden Clark been cooking Washington. The first win, they the, the first win, Leah Boston had a good game. Caden Clark had 30. The second game, Caden Clark had 29.15 rebound, they lost. You know why they lost? Leah Boston foul trouble. So what they tell you? Who's really the most viable player? Hey man, I'm just keeping the same man. Y'all was killing me. Hey, y'all killing me about the rookies when you shoot five or seventeen. So me personally, hey man, look here, bro. Look, I'm all fuck talking basketball. But hey, since I keep getting them disrupted, I don't, and I can't enjoy basketball, we're gonna call that a spade a spade then. Caden Clark played like shit water. And all the way up to the fourth quarter, she made a couple good plays here and there. So that's what it is. Leah Boston. I don't want to hear nobody, all these folks trying to act like Leah Boston supposed to do her job. No, 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 no. Y'all was killing Leah Boston. Y'all was sending, y'all had to run, y'all ran the girl off social media. She couldn't even fucking live her life on social media all because y'all mad when Caitlin Clark turned the ball over, shooting the ball uh, uh, um, horrible from the field, like she did tonight. 5 17, 2 out 11 from the field. Yeah, Reese missed some layups, but we also got to point out Caden Clark shot 5 17 from the field. You can't duck that pressure. That pressure. I don't want to hear about how many people showed up to the arena. Great. I think that's great for the league. I'm I'm happy for it. Salute the mom and dad in the crowd. All that stuff, good shit. But let's talk about basketball. So we don't want to talk about basketball. You don't want to talk about all uh, none of this other congratulations stuff. That ain't we're going to talk about it then. I ain't pushing y'all fucking agenda. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. We're going we gonna to keep it real. And keeping it real is this. 5 of 17 from the field, 2 out of 11 from the three-point line. And you can get in my comment section. You can get mad. You can get. You can talk how you want to talk. I will drop the link, happily drop the link. The next time we do a show, you can bring your ass up and get cooked. Simple as that. And I challenge you. I do it all the time. No, nobody drops the link. Yeah. Now, let's be serious for a second. I do. I absolutely believe Indiana's a lock for the playoffs. I think Chicago's a lock for the playoffs. Now, do this play a part into on uh, rookie of the year? I think. I think it should. Um, uh, Clark has played a couple better games. I think last couple of games, I think she played better than Reese. And like I said, it's gonna be back and forth. I have to be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with y'all. I don't care who wins rookie of the year. I don't care. Whoever wins rookie of the year, well deserved. Congratulations. I'm just being honest with you. I don't care. The first month I said Caitlin Clark had a better rookie month. The last this last party I said Reese had a better rookie. This is gonna go back and forth. I don't I don't give a shit about that. I don't sit up at night thinking about, ooh, I sure hope Reese wins rookie of the year. Um, no, I don't care about that. I care about winning a damn championship. That's what I care about, winning. Winning the championship. Now, these ladies, they care about them individual stats. They absolutely do. I honestly believe they do. Now, they might come out and say, oh, well, now we care about, they care about winning, but they also care about building up their own legacy, too. It's not, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But let's not act like that ain't what it is. Both streets are over. Both players play bad as far as the rookie of the year. So, like I said, it's going to be back and forth. Hey, I don't know how uh, Angel Reese going to play against Las Vegas. If, if she come out and ball and, and go crazy, 
then the conversation gonna switch. So it's gonna always gonna be back and forth. But don't be dumb and say this. Oh, it's by far Caitlin Clark. It's nobody else in behind. Stop it. You don't know basketball. Sit your dumb ass down. Don't watch basketball no more. Cause I literally watch everything. I watch her. I watch her go up against some of the most subpar guards out there, and uh, 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 and, and have good games like they did against Washington. Then go up against elite players and get locked up. I see Angel Reese. She has her good games. He has her bad games, but she's been a little bit more consistent. Lately, she's been having two bad Harbor games. We ain't going to make no excuse. Them two games are Harbor against New York. Now, will the playoffs, will seeding, malice? Is, is, is Monica McNutt right about that? Seeding all that malice. Me personally, winning win the malice. But here's the thing. Angel Reese don't have two top two picks on her team. She got Camilla Cadosa. Don't get me wrong. But Kennedy Carter, number four pick. They ain't, bro, Leah Boston is the reigning, the reigning rookie of the year. We're talking about the reigning rookie of the year, efficient on both ends of the floor. Then you got Kelsey Mitchell. Then you got the Lisa Smith. Then you got freaking Katie Sams, Katie Lou Samson. They, they got a squad. So I don't want to hear nobody know Christy Size ain't doing this. Christy Size ain't doing that. Shit me. When you got all the top picks in the world, your ass should be able to win almost every damn game. They got the same. They got more top two picks than the fucking Las Vegas Aces. So that's what I'm saying. Are we going to sit here and make excuses? Or are we going to sit here and talk basketball? This is just a prime example. A lot of y'all don't keep the same mention. Well, I will. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Like I said, that link will be dropped. If you have a problem with them saying, hit the link. Don't run like little girls. Don't hide in the comment section. You know, because none of y'all like to keep it real in this community. Well, not my community. The other communities. You come to my community with that, that buffoonery, you're getting blocked. Sad. That's just what it's going to be. Now, Y'all let me know what I what y'all think. Give Aaliyah Boss her damn flowers. She balling out of control. A carry job every single night. The Indiana Fever got themselves a special one. And life ain't fair. I don't want to hear nobody no bullshit in the comment section. Life ain't been fair. And this whole thing is a double standard. And, and a lot of y'all are haters. And a lot of y'all are, are, are sickening. And y'all disgusting individuals and y'all clowns. I'm out of here.